Hey, what's up? This is Rick from Adelita's Way. You're watching Pets Get Rocked. Hey, it's Terry Carr, and welcome to Pets Get Rocked Video Bites. This time, talking dogs and tunes with Rick DeJesus from Las Vegas hard rock band Adelita's Way. Rick and his family love dogs and rescue. And he tells me all about the inspiration for the band's forthcoming fifth release. Pets Get Rocked Video Bites welcomes Rick DeJesus from Adelita's Way. Hey, it's Pets Get Rocked Video Bites. I am here with Rick DeJesus from Adelita's Way. Talking dogs. All right, you've outdogged me. I have two. You have five. five. I got five dogs. How did you come to have five doggies? I got love in my heart. No. You look, do? I, I When I met my wife, I adopted one. So he's our adopted son. And then together, we bought our second dog, who we both have a really uh, certain place in our heart. He's, I mean, he's not the best dog in a sense of he will pee right on something like mine. Mine, you know, your kid's toy, that's mine. The boss. Yeah, but I still love him. And then the, our third dog, you know, that's it's like tattoos. We had him, we were like, oh, look at her, we need to get her. The last two <laughs> dogs, we, we were done at three. We were, we were like, this is it. Uh, we went down to the rescue, to the shelter to help. Uh, you know, we were playing with the dogs, and we saw this little black chihuahua. And my wife was like, hey, we have a fourth dog. And I was like, all right, I'm down with it. And then we went to the shelter again. And it wasn't because she picked a dog. It was because I fell in love with another dog. Yeah. I found this little white chihuahua and I just loved her. And I and I just, I, I, I had to go on the road. I'll, I remember I had to go on the road and I kept telling my wife, I want that dog. You got to get that dog for me. And uh, she went back to the shelter and, and she rescued the dog. And when I came home from tour, uh, my little Mila was there. So I have five and uh and you have kids and and talk to me about how the dogs have enriched your life not only as an artist but family life too because you said it's so cool to see my girls you know with the dogs and the dogs with my girls oh that's and one of my one year, my one and a half year old one of her first word is a dog a dog because she's around my dog so much she plays with them my daughter presley she started trying to take the one dog that sleeps with us and she's like the dog's gonna sleep with me now in my bed and they've been having a little bond it's great it's a bond you know it's like i'm on the couch and i got five dogs on top of me and around me <laughs> that's a that's good my feeling night, you know? and you've been involved too with shelters doing things and visiting shelters and bringing donations and things what has that been like for you how has that enriched your life i mean it's so important i don't think the artists realize how important it is when you and your name and your face can lend you know a little bit of a different aspect for these animals that are so in need what has that been like for you you know i think uh, you know the feeling you do so much for dogs uh it's just a small page out of the book that you've been you've been dominating you know it's it's uh dogs don't have a voice they they can't tell you when they're hungry or they're sad or they can't that you know they they have they're stranded and they're alone and they're not made for that life you meet when you're around a dog you know they're not made to just be in the woods uh hunting their own food i mean they're loving little best friends they're 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 like uh you know they're they're they come up to you my dog comes up to me and gets all up in my they're just such loving little beings so i i understand the love dogs put out so when it's it going to a shelter to to go and see dogs who need love or, or they need to be uh shown that there's a side of people that is beautiful uh i always want to be a part of that even if it's on a small scale fantastic fantastic so let's talk a little rock and roll too you guys working on a fifth record we're set for a spring release and tell me about this great new single that adelita's way has out uh, ready for war is cool man you know uh, so cool so powerful i was i was at home uh so i i wrote a song that kind of taps into the mentality of what officers soldiers these guys that are going out there uh risking their life every day uh putting it on the line to keep us safe and protected and uh you know i wanted to show some of my love and appreciation to those people and uh we're looking for a spring release for the fifth record you've said that you want this to be the best, the over the top, the greatest Adelita's Way record. Not ever. even. I just want it to be songs. I want it to be yeah, full of songs yeah. that people. But listen you guys to. do that so well. I want to keep the train rolling. Wow. Some people say Homeschool Valedictorian was my best record. They always refer to that. Oh, that was your biggest album. This is your biggest album. Uh, I'm very proud of that album, but I definitely think that that I'm in a in a position and I'm in a headspace and I'm in a part of my life where I can write my best material. Oh, I can't now. wait. I can't wait. Congratulations on a great single and for being somebody who's involved in animal rescue. Oh, I love it. Thank I you thank for you. having me a part of everything. It means a lot. 